you took a look. Hope you took a good look at the bracket there as you saw how these two teams got to this World Series. Hi, I'm Jipler, and this is Game 4 of the, excuse me, Game 5 of the 2024 World Series. And let me correct myself one more time, it is Game 4. The Pirates have lost the first three, and now they're in a must-win all the way throughout. They cannot lose the rest of the series, or there will be a new World Series champions, the Chicago White Sox. So here's Joe Random uh, taking batting practice. Now let's talk a little bit about him. He's a former, former Chicago White Sox, which is always fun to watch. But the problem is, though... Uh, if the Sox won the World Series against him and his new team, there might be <laughs> there might be some bragging rights for his old team because there's a lot of people he used to play with still on this team. And they have come a long way, might I tell you. Long way. Other than that, the Pirates have won five consecutive World Series before this. So maybe it's time for someone else to win. And it's looking more and more like that is going to happen, seeing that this series has fallen 3-0. The, the, it would not surprise me if the Pirates came back, because they are that kind of team that would do something like that. Come back and show what true champions they are. Well, that's it here for the pregame show. We have Matt Vaskersian, Eric Harris, and Steve Lyons with this World Series Game four. They'll be calling it for you. Guys, take it away. I tell you, this crowd is making it so I can hardly hear my own voice. They are indeed raring to go. It's game four of the World Series between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Chicago White Sox. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on the show. With me are Eric Carros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, lots of storylines here as we approach the start of Game 4. And I don't know that I would say that I'm totally surprised that it's three games to none right now. I mean, I knew they were capable of going on a run like this. But to come in and put it to them the way they have, that's what I think all three of us maybe didn't expect. But I just think it shows the character of this ball club. And it starts right at the top. I think it's a really good reflection of the manager that he's got them to where they are right now. Set for what should be a good one. Lineups and first pitch are next. The crowd is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. defensively will line up like this. Joe Random steps in now.
first pitch on the way. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. And that'll just sneak past the glove, and it should be a base hit. I'll tell you, this guy has been something else in these playoffs. I mean, when it matters most, he's come up aces more times than not. And he delivers once again here with a ringing double. Man, he's fun to watch. Number 41 will stand in now for the first time coming off, well, nothing short of a dynamic performance last time out. Well, it makes you wonder how they're going to attack him here in this game. I would bet that there are a lot more pauses. And there's ball four now, so the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk, and the force at the plate is in order. Felix Mateo will get his first opportunity here, and if you go by the numbers, it's been a disappointing start to this World Series for him so far. Yeah, he really hasn't gotten on track, and I think you have to give some of that credit to good pitching, but he's really been a bit of a non-factor so far. Still time for him to turn it around. And obviously looking for the ground ball here as this misses low. It's 1-0. Oh. Well, I think the big question everyone's asking before this game was, how are these guys going to respond from just getting whacked the last time out there? In the regular season, you say, hey, no big deal. You put it behind you. You, you move on pretty quickly. But in the postseason, you, know, you could say it's over and done with, but I don't think it's quite as easy as that. Those are the kind of losses that stick with you and you just keep thinking about them. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. One run is scored. And the second run will score as that makes it a 2-0 ball game. Victor Gonzalez will stand in now, hoping to duplicate the performance he turned in last time out, albeit in a losing effort. Yeah, but I don't think he can pin that loss on him. I mean, he was tremendous. He just needed a little more help. Now a ball hit back up the middle. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. You talk about a guy who really stepped it up all throughout this postseason. Here's your man right here. He's on base again as he leads off the inning with a base hit. Joe Random will stand in. He doubled and later scored his first time. Joe Random. Here's the first offering. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now the pitch. Strike two on the curveball. 0 oh and 2. Got to figure that that man right there would be more than happy to see this guy at the plate taking his swings with two out and nobody on all night long. <laughs> so could the guy on the mound. And the pitch. Over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. out nobody on the next 0 2 not a bad pitch there with two strikes but it misses one and two could be that that high fastball there was just a setup pitch now you've kind of established that high sight level could be a good time to break off a nasty curveball here it comes and it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning and when he's down 0-2, he's smart enough to know guys are going to try and get him to chase. So now at 2-2, two two, he's got himself back to a spot where he doesn't have to go after a pitcher's pitch. Three and two, here it is. And he takes ball four, so he's on. And as you know, that often means the steal could be in order here. That is just a great at-bat right there. Anytime you go from down 0-2 in the count to working out a walk, well, let me tell you, that ain't easy to do. And that's all about having a really good feel for the strike zone. Number 41 will bat here. No official at-bat, but he's scored a run thus far. Hey, plays it one now. Hey, here we go. Plays it one now. 
Now here's the first pitch. Runner goes for second. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. We've seen him use his speed more than once here this postseason. And he's on the run again here as he gets into second with the stolen base. And he steps off. Runner's on his way to third. Throw back to second and a dive, but he's back. Hey, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on. Right here. Good lead off the second there. Now the pitch. Pitch outside the throw, but he'll just play a little cat and mouse as he looks him back. Hey, come on, guys. Let's go. Gotta hold him. Ready now on one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Gotta wonder if the natives will start to get restless here. Well, it's definitely not the start to this game this crowd was hoping for. Far from it. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Two, two. Now a ball hit hard toward first. And that's a fair ball as this one will get down the line. Around third and being waved on home. And they'll add another as this is now a 5-0 game. And already we've seen some hard-hit balls in these first two innings. And this was not one of those high-fly ball where no one can reach it kind of doubles. This thing is a rocket shot, and it's going to wind up driving in another run. Rolando Navarro will start things off in the bottom of the second. Here comes the 1-2. Swing, hard hit ball to second. And the throw to first is in time, one gun. Victor Gonzalez makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. Here's the pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw to first is in time for the first out. Well, I think he's got the right approach right here. That's a fastball up, and it's on the outer half of the plate. He goes right with it and hits it hard, too, but he just couldn't quite steer it into the hole there, and it becomes a 4-3 put up. Up next for Pittsburgh. Joe Random will dig in. He walked and later scored last time. Pause. Now the pitch. Now a swing and a high fly ball, and this one has some carry on it to deep right field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. Pittsburgh leads this one five to nothing. Rolando Navarro will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Here comes a 1-2. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And no, I spoke too soon. It's by him for a two-out hit. Well, he'd had some high-stress innings here so far. It was looking like he turned a corner and was on his way to a much-needed one, two, three. But he's going to have to get in the stretch here after all. The one-one. Changed up on him as this is grounded to second. Throw on to first, and the White Sox come up with nothing as the inning is over. Vinny Castro is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep him in the game here. Joe Random will dig in now. One for two to this point. Now here's the first pitch. And this will be fouled away. set now the pitch and that misses one and one he seemed to quicken his delivery to the plate on that last pitch well you got to remember the slide step does two things for you it gets the catcher the ball quicker so he can throw a guy out or it will hold the runner on first so he doesn't steal at all one one on the way 
swing and a ball hit hard on the ground to short. On to second for the force out and the side is retired. One hit, one left. Nine, one and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. Pirates on top, six to four. Luis Sardinius will step in. He doubled and later scored his last time. Hey, you got one. He's set, now the pitch. This is popped high in the air toward the right side of the infield. Random is there, two down. Joe Random will step in with the tying run on first, so he's got to concentrate and work on getting on base here. First pitch coming. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. It's out of here, and they've taken the lead in the ninth. Santa Maria. So a two-run shot to left center, his second home run of the series, as they grab an 8-7 lead in this seesaw game. This is what you expect when you make it to the postseason. I mean, you expect the guys that have carried you all year to keep on producing, and sure enough, he comes through again and delivers a no-doubter here. Zach Putnam will take over now with one away in the top of inning number nine. stage here at the World Series, you want to make sure you bring the A game, and this man right here certainly did. He's our top player of the game. And, Maddie, I think you're absolutely right. Sometimes guys get caught up in the pressure of the World Series and their performance suffers, but he was obviously not rattled out there, and he came through in a big way. Well, that'll just about do it. For Eric Caro, Steve Lyons, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskirchen. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The Pirates win it 8-7. Good night from Chicago.